Alright, my name is Dan. Welcome to my channel, A Little Bit About Everything. My first project will probably be undertaking to make a replica of this cutter sled. It was built around 1900s and still in good shape, but I'm going to be making a replica of this project here. contains a storage area underneath the driver's seat. It has a cushion leather seat. I may or may not use leather depending on what's available. As you can see it contains some wood bending. I'll have to steam some of this wood. These pieces will have to be steamed. I'll have to do a little bit of drilling and a little bit of welding, MIG welding that is. And um, basically, I'll be making a copy. So, let's get started. Well, my first battery, uh, my battery incident, battery went dead. And as I was going along trying to screw in the corners of my frame foundation for the sled, I noticed that I needed a blade change on my table saw and I had to cut a small angle on the outer piece of the frame so that the sides of the sled are tilted at an angle of 3.8 degrees outwards. So I have to remove the material on the bottom side, which is 1 8 of an inch, up to nothing on the top side, and I need a blade change. Um, as far as safety on a table saw, there's such a thing as kickback, and that happens when the piece of wood coming out the back side of the blade actually touches together, grabs the, the blade, and it gets thrown out the front side where the operator is standing. Which, unfortunately, it happened to me. But on this saw, this particular saw, you can buy what is called a blade knife. And this is installed on the back side of the blade where it prevents those pieces of wood from touching together and grabbing on the back side of the blade which eventually kicks it out the front side where the operator is standing so right now I'm in the middle of a blade change and I'm going to blow out well my battery ran out and um I just noticed now, so lost. I lost a lot of the footage, but I was. Uh, I had to put a bevel on the frame because the um, not the frame and the legs and the runners but the actual seat and everything else the sides are on a bevel, on a 2 degree bevel and the front and back are on a 5 degree bevel and what happened was I actually put the bevel into the frame material but upside down I had to redo these <laughs> I will resume 
fastening those pieces together and the bottom. I'll be right back, but for me it's going to be a little bit longer. Thank you. 